Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day I made a video on a free product called Make a Box. And somebody asked me why would they still use that when they could buy, or what's the difference between that and laser jump stops, jump starts, box it. And to be honest with you, this is new. I don't know what this does. I'll have to email them and ask them what the upgrade is or look at it closer. And this thing, uh, $269, I don't understand, $289, it's expensive. But it does do some things that you cannot do with the free software. So we're going to make our width 2 inches. We're going to make our height 2 inches. We're going to make our depth 2 inches. We're going to type in 1.25 for the uh, size of the thickness of the wood. And we're going to make our uh, tabs uh, 0.25. And then we're going to go to action and make the box. And then you could download the PDF. It takes 30 seconds. It's almost there. I think it's there. Uh, let's show in folder. Uh, make a box. And it's under, I'm going to move it under pictures. Just so I know where it is more readily. Then you go to Corel. And import it. Go to pictures and make a box. It even tells you what it is. You import it, make it curves, it doesn't really matter. Now there is a few problems with it. It's all kind of together. And I had to I showed some videos the other day on how to get it apart because when you go to a range of group and ungroup, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the product, but it's broken into lines, so you have to, I would suggest using the Smart Fill tool on each of the pieces. So that's basically all you can do with the free software. With Boxit, you design your 2x2 two two square and then press Start, and it comes up with a screen, and we're going to make our box height 2 inches. There's our material, there's our curve. There's our tab width. But what box it does, you can have it like this, and it's going to make that box. Or you can start it again and tell it you don't want a lid. You want none. And press OK. Now what it did, it made the top four corners without finger joints. And also what you can do inside of box it, We'll click on it again, and you can have a lid, but you can have plug holes. Well, I wouldn't put them on the bottom. I'd put them on the top, but it doesn't really matter since it's square. And it's going to give you plug holes. Well, I hit the wrong one. It's actually plugs. I've never used plug holes. So let's just use plug, and then hit go. And what box it did, it made you a a plug, and I do this all the time, I just did it the other day, and let's hit P and put that in the center of the page, and then you can draw a box around that, holding down the control button, hit P, and then those plugs, the box would actually fit in these holes and give you a little bit of lip. So that's the difference between the software. Uh, laser jump is just a little bit, uh, there's more you can do with it, and uh, the product's a little bit easier to use because of the fact that they're already ready to go. It leaves your original design. So here's your five pieces plus your bottom. That's going to be plugs. Now, I'm not, I like this box it, or make a box. It's pretty simple. Uh, you know, you can change the curve. Uh, that's not even, I would use 2 point, or point zero zero 0.008 or below to make a really tight fit. So this is a free, free program. If you just search make a box, that website will come up. And if you want to look at the box it, uh, they have box it, they have flex it, uh, they sell Ceramar, here's flex it, um, a bunch of stuff. There's flex it, the suites that I have, and uh, you can make a lot of stuff with it, frame it. And uh, anyway, so that's just my opinion on the two software. There's actually one more inside of eCuts, but it's a uh, 
and it's a pretty neat program too, but it's kind of limited, kind of like Megabot. You don't have many variables as you do with the laser jump start. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.